Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video I want to share with you how to play May You Never as recorded by Eric Clapton on guitar. Now this song actually was written by a guy named John Martin, and so this is Eric Clapton's cover of it. And Eric Clapton used an open E tuning on the recording for the main guitar on this song. And so I'm gonna be showing it to you in open E. And if you haven't experimented around with open tunings, this is a great song to get started with it on. And we're gonna work our way through just a couple chord changes, but we're gonna make some great sounds with this guitar part. But before we dive into it, if you're new to the channel, I wanna give you a gift right away. I put together this awesome fret Board guide that's going to show you the five must know chords and scales to map out your entire fretboard. And this is so useful for learning songs and for also learning to improvise on your guitar. And I want to give it to you completely for free. All you got to do is go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or click the link in the description and that'll take you to the website. You can download it right there as my gift to you. So hope you enjoy that. And with that said, let's break it down. All right, so as I mentioned, we're in an open E tuning. So what that means is your guitar is tuned from low to high like this. E, B, E, G sharp, B, and E. Basically, when you strum the open strings, you get an E chord. It's like as if you were fretting an E chord because you tuned up those three strings. So once you're in that tuning, then we play this B chord and it just sort of floats for a second and Clapton sings, may you never, and then we're into the groove. It sounds like this. So this is the verse or the A section, and I'll show you this chord that we lead in on. We're playing from the fifth string down, open, two, three, open, open. And that's like a B sus four chord. We're gonna strum that, and then when Clapton sings, may you never, and then on never, the band comes in on an E chord, and that's just all open strings. Then we're gonna go to C sharp minor, and the way I play that is from the fifth string down, two, open, open, two, open. Then we go back to that B sus four that we use for the first chord and then back to E. So those last one bar each. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then we go back to C sharp minor, one, two, B sus again, one, two, three, four. Then we do this little lick and it reminds me, you know, I hear Joni Mitchell do this a lot or a lot of folk players, it goes like this. Okay, so what it is, is an E chord here, one and two and three and four and one. So it's E and then we're gonna go to the second chord. It's, it's like a, it's like an A add nine chord with an E in the bass. It's kind of like doing the four chord with the one in the bass. So we're gonna go one and two and three and four and, and then go back to E. So the strumming pattern there goes down, down, up, 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 down. And as just a general strumming pattern throughout this tune, I'm keeping an eighth note feel going. So one and two and three and four and just down up. And then here, we have little moments throughout where the band kind of hits those rhythms or we have like a little figure and that's a... Then, then you do the B chord again, and there you can kind of hit three, four, you can change the rhythm there, but predominantly it's still just down up, one and two and three and four and. So then we're gonna loop it back around. Okay, now the 
first time we went, we did the B and we looped it back around. The second time, we just stay on the E. So one and two and three and four and. And that's the verse section. So it's basically a repeat two times. You have the first ending where you do the B and the second time you just stay on the E. So I'm gonna put all that together from the top so you'll have the first section as one piece. Here we go. A one, two, three, four, verse. Little lick. Loop it back around. On e. All right, here's where we go to the B section, and this is where Clapton sings, well, you're just like a great strong sister to me. Here we're gonna play this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, so the first part, we've got no new chords here. We're starting out on that B chord, and we're gonna stay there for two bars. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then we do that little full click, and then to E. One, and two, and three, and four, and. Then we repeat that again. And still, the main strumming pattern is just that eighth note, one and two and three and four and. Now, Clapton does do sometimes these little flurry strums on the downbeat, like he'll go. And that's just down, up, down. It's a real quick kind of 16th note, little strum pattern that he would just sort of pepper in. Here it is again. So you don't have to do that, but there is some of that on the recording and you can add that in as you feel. From there we go back to B. And then I do this little lick. And this just goes to more of an arpeggio picked part here. So we stay on that B, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then we go to a C sharp minor seven. And this looks like the chord we were doing earlier. I'll, I'll break it down for you from the fifth string down here. Two, open, three, two, open. So really, I'm kind of on the B like this, and I keep that ring finger there and add these other two fingers. Now when I get to this point, I play this little part. And there I'm just playing individual strings, doing like an arpeggio using a quarter note triplet rhythm. Ba, 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 ba. So it's, the strings that I'm playing here are five, four, three. Then I skip to the first string and go one, two, three, four, and come backwards, so. Then up, down, down. Then we're back to the first section, the verse. So coming out of that, we do the arpeggio. Then I go up, down, down. Then I play two bars of the B chord again, the B sus four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then do the full click, the. And then turn it back around with the B sus four again on beats three and four. Three, four, one. And that's what the words. Okay, then we go back, everything repeats again. So those are the only two sections that you need to know. Now when we end the song, we are on that first section, the verse, and we do what's called a tag. And that goes like this. So we're gonna be on the C sharp minor. B sus, E, lick. So over the words, never make a bed out in the cold. We do it four times. Da, 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 da. 
so we do it four times and on the last time it's three times with singing then on the last time it's just instrumental and you end here the opening so have fun putting those two sections together and then add in the tag and you'll be able to play it top to bottom. Now this is a great song, as I mentioned, for working on playing in an open E tuning. The chord shapes aren't too difficult, but they get an amazing sound because of the tuning. So it's just a cool way to sort of freshen up your guitar and, and make it seem brand new again because you just go to another tuning. So you can see why a lot of singer songwriters and uh, you know just artists over the years have favored using these different types of tunings. So rewind the video, go over any parts that are unclear, and to help you put this together even more, don't forget to grab my fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you the five chords and scales that I use for mapping out the fretboard. And I used to look down at the guitar neck and feel so much more confused until I understood what I put on just this one page. And I wanna give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide. All right, well, hope you enjoy that and hope you're enjoying this series. This is track number seven. We've got two more and I'm covering every single song on this classic album, Slow Hand by Eric Clapton. Hope you're enjoying the videos and for more Clapton, check out this video next.